Hello and welcome everyone. This is Money Gaming and I'd like to show you my first tutorial video for Vega Conflict. Woohoo! In this episode I'm going to show you how you create a so-called auto fleet that deals with a level 35 Vega fleet on its own. Using AI mode so well that you can actually repair it instantly for free afterwards. Let's jump right into it and see how that looks. And by the way, for detailed information on how to build this fleet, see the video description where I wrote down all necessary information for you. Having multiple auto fleets makes blueprint farming much easier. While others do one fleet after another, <laughs> you just save yourself every spawned level 35 fleet there is and have a much higher chance for blueprints. Because everyone is farming level 35 fleets, let me tell you that, since they are the first and easiest to give you level 3 or rather tier 3 blueprints, you know. Here you can see that I'm using the AP drivers. You might as well just use the Gladius drivers like everyone else does, um, but I stick with my AP drivers because I love those things. In some occasions, when you penetrate the first shit and hit sh shit, yes, when you penetrate the first shit, the shit out of your enemy's first ship and hit another one after that, then you actually double the amount of damage you do with the AP drivers and then you have your advantage against the Gladius driver. Uh, wow. That was freaking hard to say, man. <laughs> so, in the meantime, the fleet has been defeated, and uh, let's go and repair, right? You can see here, uh, let's abort uh, the ongoing repair. You can see it's just by an inch not possible to instant repair. So I remove the first ship, instant repair, and add the first ship again, and instant repair again. And this way, it's an auto-instant repair fleet. Now let's look into the fleet screen, shall we? You can see here six ranker battleships. I told you we would build a fleet. <laughs> I'm not gonna build a new one because I already have it here. I show you what it is. Slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now slot 1 is your most important tank because it protects you from the initial attack of that apocryphy cruiser using thermal beams. That's why you need a spectra shield. And you really need a level 5 shield because a level 4 is probably not gonna be enough. The tank level, and, and also very important is all six Rancor battleships are equipped with uh, rotation thrusters level 3, okay? The first tank has higher armor, level 5 and level 4 Tritanium, and a little bit lesser armament, level 2 scatter missiles. Level 2, uh, slot 2 and 3 are identical, they are protected by a shock shield level 4 uh, because that's the damage they get, even if they get damage that's only explosive damage. And that's why they have higher weapons and a little bit lesser armor, level 4 on both cases. Also rotation thrusters, like all of them. Slot 4, 5 and 6 are also identical. They are equipped with a shock shield level 3 because they don't really get damage and uh, if they do they they are shielded. Now they also get lesser armor for the same reason and higher weapons. In my case I have four level 1 AP drivers in it. You can, as I told you already, also equip um, the, 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 the Gladius dr uh, drivers and also um, Rotation Thrusters 3 and yeah in this case you can equip uh, Iridium Magnets 3 at least you should at least go for level 3 I guess because that's the, the most efficient one and uh, yeah easy to get so that's basically the entire fleet if you replicate that you should be good um, just go into the video description there you can see the the exact details if you wanna replicate that on <laughs> like easy uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in the next videos and by the way another tutorial video for auto fleet level 4 40 is also coming money gaming signing off bye bye